With the next release of PureOS, codenamed Byzantium, just around the corner, let's give you a sneak peek of what you can look forward to. You'll notice the first change when you boot up the phone. Disk encryption will allow the root disk to be password protected. With this setup, you'll be asked to decrypt your device before it continues to the phone shell. Make sure to set a strong decryption passphrase. With this next release, a lot more adaptive applications will be added into PureOS. The default lineup of pre-installed apps is not finalized but is growing. Everything is newer. This release uses the recent base of Debian Bullseye. The Libra 5 team has put a lot of hard work into upstreaming adaptive changes to applications so that with this release, the code base between the phone, laptop, desktop, and the server will be shared. In the previous release, there was a special repository for the phone that contained additional adaptive applications. But from this release on, there's no phone-only repository. The desktop and phone will use the same adaptive applications and packages. Also new in this release is an adaptive file manager. You can navigate by tapping the folders and using this back button. This icon brings up the side panel. Here you'll find shortcuts to common folders as well as any SD cards or thumb drives. Because this is the same file browser as our desktop, you can hook this up to a monitor and enjoy the same app, just a bit bigger. Video decoding using the onboard video processing unit is planned to land in the web browser soon. Once added, the Librem 5 will be able to play videos longer and stay cooler while streaming from the browser. The last few software bits to enable GPS are being added in Byzantium. When done, you'll be able to pinpoint your location in GNOME Maps and find your way around. For those familiar with other platforms, applications should be very familiar. You can search through your installed applications and manage any integration settings they might have. Tap Open in Software to launch or remove the application from your system. With this upcoming release, you can uninstall even the default applications, giving you full control of what software runs on your device. The device settings has many more options and we're working with the community to finish making these additional settings adaptive. Flipping the hard drug kill switches will soon have more UI feedback. Mobile and Wi-Fi can be flipped off like before, but with this release, you'll see this icon next to the power level when you switch off the camera and microphone. The main settings to control Wi-Fi, mobile networks, and Bluetooth are still at the top. But starting with background settings, you can see just how many more options there are here. Keep in mind these are not final and will change before release. Users with impaired eyesight can look forward to a high contrast mode. While we're finishing up support in FOSH, most applications already respond well to the high contrast mode. This release also features a screen reader, giving users audio feedback as they navigate the UI and applications. Screen reader on. High contrast toggle. The on-screen keyboard can be disabled or enabled under typing. Desktop-only software isn't desktop-only anymore. With a few commands, you can install and start up a Plasma session on its own screen. Enjoy your KDE interface on an external screen, or start KDE like an app from within Fosh. If you're looking for a classic interface, you can start Mate on the onboard screen. While not optimized for mobile, you can still get a lot done with this UI. While there are simply too many interfaces to go over here, you can spend hours exploring what each one feels like while on the go. KDE applications work much better out of the box. This gives developers access to Qt tools on top of the default GTK UI toolkit. This new release of PureOS is already the one in use on our Librem Mini V2 and our Librem 14, and it will make its way to the Librem 5 soon. Take back control of your computing lifestyle and order your Purism device at puri.sm.